Ever scrolled through a game's graphical settings menu and wondered what this does? Or how about this? Another one? These are all forms of anti-aliasing. For those of you who do not know, in video graphics, anti-aliasing is any number of methods by which curved and slanted edges are smooth via the process of pixel blending. For example, since pixels are rectangular in shape, remember a square is a type of rectangle, curved surfaces on screen cannot accurately be rendered. This explains the jaggy seen around wheels, plants, you get the point. So anti-aliasing seeks to reduce these sharp edges by reducing sharpness and blending transition zones between two surfaces that aren't vertical or horizontal. But there are several types of anti-aliasing, MSAA, TXAA, SMAA, FXAA, I'm sure I'm forgetting a few, but those are the four we'll cover in this video. MSAA, or multi-sampling anti-aliasing, identifies several locations within each pixel, invisible to the human eye because we're limited by our monitor's resolution, and combines those to render the final pixel shade. The process is perhaps most noticeable at lower resolutions, such as 1080p and 720p, since fewer pixels yield sharper rectangular edges. But MSAA is extremely resource intensive because it demands multiple samples of every pixel in question, and this is for every frame rendered. It also has another downfall in that texture is only calculated once per pixel, meaning that areas inside polygons where shaders are at play will not be smooth to any degree. In other words, the specific technique only applies to edges and other polygon transition zones. FXAA, or Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing, is an algorithm created with NVIDIA affiliations that seeks to remedy the shortcomings of MSAA. In this case, it requires significantly less computing power, you can actually see the frame rate difference here, and more conservatively analyzes polygons. By this, FXAA finds and smooths only edges, not the entire frame. It also takes into account texture smoothing around these polygon perimeters, whereas MSAA overlooks these entirely. A downfall of this method, however, involves the loss of visual clarity, especially when objects are in motion. It often takes on the role of motion blur to an extent. It won't look that way in every scene, but when you're moving very fast, FXAA will appear to kind of blur those edges a bit more than you might like. The next form of anti-aliasing is SMAA, or Subpixel Morphological Anti-Aliasing. It's a post-processing technique much like FXAA centered on pattern detection, becoming more popular in modern games. After analyzing endpoints of diagonal lines, the method will compare these intersections with previous ones in an effort to minimize blur and reduce jaggies. The term sub-pixel implies accurate reproduction since multiple points within a single pixel, remember these are invisible to the human eye since that resolution can't be displayed on screen, are sampled and blended. In a sense, SMAA is a slight improvement over FXAA but at the cost of resources and it also still does not account for objects for moving very fast on screen. The last on our list today is TXAA, or Temporal Anti-Aliasing. As its name describes, the technique seeks to reduce temporal aliasing, which occurs when a polygon on screen moves faster than the sampling rate, basically your frame rate. This deficiency results in skipping, making gameplay feel less smooth and realistic. An optimal situation involves a frame rate twice as high as the object's motion rate, though hardware limitations often make this difficult to attain. This is where TXAA steps in. If a ball is rolling across the screen and only appears for 5 frames, TXAA will interpolate movement and blur the path between each rendered location. But it doesn't just stop there. The method will also typically involve strong MSAA and other film style filters to generate intensely vivid scenes, however dynamic they may be. It's been championed by Nvidia in newer titles such as Watch Dogs, notice how the floor and the background appear more blended with TXAA at times 4 versus MSAA at times 8. It's definitely subtle, most objects in the foreground won't look very different, but anything that occasionally moves should appear well blended and realistic. A downside here though, of course, is that the blurring can be overbearing at times. Some honestly prefer the sharpness and don't appreciate the increased motion blur. I can't blame them. All of these have some sort of downfall, whether it be resource intensiveness or lack of accountability. In theory, combining several of these would be ideal, but not everyone's sporting a couple of titans in SLI. If you ask me, your best bet is SMAA if available, FXAA is a great substitute, and maybe even light MSAA, something low like times 2 if possible. I wouldn't touch TXAA unless I absolutely had to. I'm getting tired of saying AA over and over. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, thumbs down for the opposite. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. This is Salazar Studio. Thanks for learning with us.